911, what are you reporting? Hi, I'm calling to report that my car just got broken into, window smashed at did you, Woodland Park. Did you see someone do this? No, but okay. it just happened. How many minutes so ago? It's not, an, it's not really an emergency, but I didn't know. We How many know. minutes ago? Um, it was probably in the last half hour. Okay, stand on. I'm going to connect you with our reporting line. They'll be able to assist you further. There's a couple calls Thank ahead you. of you, so it might be a few minutes. 911, what are you reporting? Um, I have uh, traced my I stole an iPhone to a parking lot, and we've been following the car around, and we've we've got them here. We wondered if we could get a police officer. You, okay. Did you make contact with the person who you might who might have the phone? No, we're just um, right next. To, we're nearby. We've been following them from one location to another, and oh. we haven't made contact yet. Okay, we we don't want you following. That's not a that's not something we recommend. Okay. So so do what you, do you recommend? Well, we recommend is not not that's what you have insurance for. You know, you, you make the report and uh, so do you see them right now? Yes. Do you see somebody with your phone? No. Um, I we've been following them, you know, they don't see us, but we've been following them from the seven eleven to this parking lot and um it, and we see the same people that move from one location to the other. Okay. Yeah, we definitely don't recommend doing that. Uh so you're at Green Lake right now? Yes. Um North Green Lake parking lot. The one that's um kind of across from the library. I have already filed a police report, but, you know, we couldn't help but follow it on the Find My iPhone. It broke our car window and stuff. Okay, one second. Thank you. So you're kind of at the main parking lot there on the west side of, uh, I'm sorry, on the east side of Green Lake? Where like, the tennis courts like are. North, north uh, tennis courts. No, I call it more north. Um, where's the tennis courts? Are we near the tennis courts? They should be just to the north of you. Yeah, but I think it's um, kind of by the boat. I think the boat house is here. Boat rental in the summer. Near where the community center is, just to the north of the community center? Yeah, community okay. center, exactly. There's All right. Parties. And have you already reported the phone is stolen? Yes, and the car broke in. I already have. Do you want the number? No, it's okay. Uh, One sec. You think it's in another car there right now at the parking lot? Yes, and I do have a license plate number if you'd like that. What kind of vehicle is it? Which one was it, Danny? Was it which car? Oh, it's Kia Sedona. What color? Um, gray, would you call it gray? I think it's gray. Okay. You want the plate number? Um, AJU9659. Okay, do you see how many people are in the vehicle? Two. We can kind of describe them, too. Uh, my husband says three people, one in the back also. in there. Can you just give me a quick description on them? Um, three white guys, one of them really heavy. 
Um, and maybe, you know, uh, 35 years old. All of them are in their mid-30s? Um, I actually only saw two of them, then, white guys in the mid-30s. They're all, but you said they were all white? You mean the heavy guy? Um, hold on. Did you see the third guy? Is he white? We, we don't know about the third guy. No weapons seen on them or anything like that? Say again. Did you see any weapons on them? No, no weapons. We saw them at the 7-Eleven and they were... Uh, What's your name? My name is Sarah Westmeet. S-A-R-A-H? Yes, please. W-E-S-T-N-E-A-T. All right, I'm showing a cell phone, 206-769-7042. Yeah, that's my husband. Okay, and what kind of vehicle are you in? We are in a Toyota Matrix 2007 Red. And what's your uh, plate number? My well, plate number? What's our plate number, guys? AMG 6154. 6154. All right. And you said this was a gray Kia Sedona. Yeah, silver gray. All right, I can put a request in. We're getting hundreds of calls about down trees and, and everything know. else, so I, I, I can't guarantee we're going to get somebody out there right away, but I'm going to at least put a request in. We definitely don't recommend following these people. If anything okay. escalates, just give us a call back and let us know. Okay, do you have my number for the incident so we can tie them together? Yeah, go ahead, just in case they want that. Okay, letter T, 140 one zero four seven zero. Okay, so it's all done online. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll put a request in, and like I said, if anything changes or escalates, just give us a call back and let us know. Um, changes? You mean like if they if they leave? Yeah, or if you if you decide to leave or whatever the case is. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Nine one one. What are you reporting? Hey, transfer nine. Hi. Thank you. Hi, Seattle, Hi. please. Hi, thank you. We're following my um, stolen iPhone. They broke into our car, and um, I've called, I've left the police report, and then I've called the police officer. We were waiting. Mm -hmm. and Where were you waiting at? Call, uh, north of Green Lake parking lot, and they're moving now, and we're following them again in the car. Okay. Um, the police hold officer on one talked second. to said, thank you, and we're at Green Lake. Let's see here. Hold on just one moment. Let me get you another operator. Hold on one moment, ma'am. Seattle, Seattle Police Operator 77, how can we assist you? Hi. Um, we, our car was broken into, and we filed a police report, and my purse was stolen, and my iPhone was stolen, and we were, follow we were following the people around. Um, and can we get a police officer? I know you guys what do you mean you're following people around? Where are you? Uh, the, everything. So our car was broken into. I filed a police report. We're following the car with find my iPhone. Okay, ma'am, what is the location where you are right now? Green Lake. Okay, and you're following a vehicle? Yes, and we have been following them for an hour, and they stopped, and they keep going, and they have... Okay, go ahead and pull over and stop following that vehicle. Okay. That's totally dangerous, and you don't know if they have any weapons, guns, anything inside the car. Right, I know. What we intersection are you going to be pulling over at? We called the police earlier, and he said and we were waiting at the parking lot for the police to come. Where were you he waiting? Said, we were waiting at the north. Can I give you some numbers? Because I've already talked to somebody about this. We are waiting at the north parking lot at, at Green Lake, and we also waited. So is there a call in for you already? Yes, I've called in. I filed a police report. I called in. I said they're there with my phone and my purse. Okay, 7201. Is this Sarah? Yes. Okay. Okay. And uh, we advised you to stay away from the vehicle and not to follow it is what we have okay, on the call. Great. So go ahead and All pull right. over and stop following the vehicle. Can you do that? Sure. And then what, what happens next? Then we're going to come and meet you wherever you're at. Okay, well, then we won't know where they are. And we have a license plate. Right, but ma'am, it's a phone. I mean, this is not worth getting getting no, hurt over. No, it's my purse. 
<laughs> ma'am, I understand that, and none of it's worth getting hurt over. I have had been on, ma'am, let me tell you something. Hold on a second. I've been on the phone with someone just like this that was killed over a cell phone, and I really don't want that to happen to you, okay? It's just really not worth it. Now, what I would, I'm requesting you to stop your vehicle and pull over. Are you able to do that? My husband's driving. Danny, she wants you to pull over and let the go. Are you going to do anything after that? We're going to come and talk to you, and then we can track the phone from your, where you guys are, and you can talk to the officers about what they would recommend doing. No, but we uh, we know you're busy because of power outages, and we've already he was he already said for us to wait there, and he said for us to call if anything changed. And so now that they're moving, we're calling to let you know that that has changed. And okay. So have you guys stopped following? Yep. Okay, yeah, and how you said you've been it. you've been following this car around for an hour and a no, half driving. No, we've been around. sitting in the parking lot for an hour, and we were sitting nearby waiting for the police officer to come because that's what he told us to do. He said. I understand that, but you said you're driving or following the vehicle. Are you still following no, it? And no, it was sitting in the parking lot, and we sat in the parking lot, and we went to go get a sandwich, and then they pulled out. Got it. And so. So at this point, you were following, but you've since stopped. Is that correct? No, my husband is driving. He pulled into the parking lot. The guy that we're following, the three men that are in a car, has pulled into the parking lot. My husband is now continuing forward. We're nowhere near the car. We're not okay, there. perfect. Where are we going to meet you at? Well, when are you guys coming? Because we've been waiting already for Ma'am. now. I know you're too busy because they're not really going to come, right? No, we, we really do come, ma'am. We just have to respond to the emergencies as they come in in progress. So we're going to be out there as soon as we can, but are you going to return back to that same parking lot where we have the call in at, or are you going to be at a different location? I don't know, Dan. Who wants to know where? She wants to know where you're going to be. Can you tell me? What would you like me to do? Can we wait somewhere where there's some uh, sandwich? Where do you want us to meet you? You can go anywhere in the city of Seattle. I just need to update the call with where you're going to be waiting. Okay. What do you want to know what you're going to do? You have to talk to me because she's mad at me. Okay, I'm going to put my husband on. Hello? Hi, I don't know what to tell you. My husband's not talking to me about it. So. Okay, so are you still following? Danny's following, yes. Okay, can I talk to him? Yeah, hold on. Hi there. Hi, sir. Yeah. Okay, we need you to stop following the car. Well, why don't you guys come out? Because, sir, we're responding. I mean, there's there's people trapped in vehicles not, right now under trees. Know, but we're doing the best we can not, to respond to all the emergencies going on in the city. Okay. And like I was telling your, your wife. You've made your point that you don't want us to follow. So how are we going to get them, how are we going to get our stuff back? Because what we're going to do, we're going to come out and meet with you, and you're going to open up the cell phone, and you're going to show us where it's tracking to. You can show that to the officer, and then he's going to deem what's necessary at that point. Okay, if he can go along with you and locate that vehicle, it's going to be completely up to him. I can't tell you. I'm not a police officer. But what I can tell you is it's not worth getting hurt over. No, I understand that. Okay. We're not, not going to get hurt. So well, I, I mean, I'm just telling you, I talked to somebody on the phone just the same way, saying the same thing right before he was shot right on the phone, and, and it's just yeah. not worth it. He was saying the same thing. I so I don't want you guys to get hurt. I understand you want I your understand. stuff back. Okay. So, so should we just go home? Um, it's totally up to where you want to wait. Um, at this point in time, there is a huge emergency load of calls in the area. Um, we're doing our, our best to get out to calls. If you want to wait, where are you guys at right now? You're in John sector. You know, in that area, there's not a lot of calls holding. Um, so if you want to go back to where, we're, where you were originally waiting, that would be not a bad place to wait. A lot of the areas further north are, are much, much busier. It's up to you, though, where you want to wait. Do you want to go back to where you guys were originally waiting, at the Green Lake Park in the east parking lot, or did you want to go to a place that had food, like your wife was saying? Well, but I don't, I don't understand even what we're doing. Because if you come like an hour from now, 
Who knows where they'll be or even if the tracking will still be on. We're just going to lose them. But we gave you the license plate number. Does that help? Yeah, I mean, we have that information on the call here. Um, basically, what you were going to do is have an officer come stand by while you attempt to locate the vehicle. So it's some, essentially, he's standing by making sure, you know what I mean, if they try to do anything crazy, he's yeah. there. Um, okay. So really, at that point, you can wait at the same location, and you can pull up where the phone and all the stuff is tracking to at that time. But it's really up to you and what you want to do. I can't, I can't force you to do anything, but I just can, you know. What would you like to do at this point in time? Where are you guys going to be waiting? Um, I don't know. How long do you think it would be? I can't give you any kind of ETA because I can't predict the emergencies that are going to be happening. Okay. Well, I don't know. We're right now we're just, you know. Well, yeah, if you tell me where you're pulled over right now, I can update the call. Well, I know, but then we're just going to sit here for an hour. It seems pointless to me. All right, let's just do the same parking lot where we already called in. Okay, I will go ahead and put that on the call. If anything changes or you move locations, please call us back, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, 911, what are you reporting? Hi, um, I have a case number. Can I give it to you? Sure, go ahead. It's T140-10470. Yes. Um, one four dash zero. Say it one more time for me, ma'am. One four dash zero one. Uh, one four zero one zero four seven zero. And your name? Sarah. Sarah Westmead. Okay. And what address does this have to do with, ma'am? Um, we're now at 85th and 1st uh, by the Fred Meyer in Bell, uh, wherever we are, Green Lake. And um, the police officer was helping us earlier. He was trying to track this um, car, this Sedona, that's was part of that case number, and now it's here again. Okay. Well, with that case yeah. number you gave me, I was not able to pull up a correct call. So I'm going to have to okay. look a different it's way. Um, it's T one oh, and the phone number I'm in. I'm on my daughter's phone now. The phone, what's the number? Let's go with this. Six. Were we uh, were we going to meet you out at Green Lake earlier? Yep, and they did already. And now okay. he was looking for the van, and he couldn't find it. And now here it is at First Avenue Northwest and 85th. It's Fred Meyer parking lot. Okay. And the did he give you an incident number for a new incident number? No, nope, we don't have that. Um, can I give you my cell phone that we talked to before? Yeah. Okay, 206 Hold on one second, okay? One sec. Okay. Okay, 206. In the park. Say again? Go ahead with your number. 206-769-7042 is the uh, phone number that I called you on before. 769-7042, is that correct? Yes. Okay. What's the number that you're calling us on today? What's the number that I'm calling on now? Yeah, 206-790-4882. Yeah, on my daughter's phone, which might run out of battery. So. Because I'm not, I'm not able to locate online reports. I'm trying to find the incident number that we came out to see you at. And I know it was at okay, Green Lake because I talked to you earlier. Right, and so... Okay, so let me so just try to find anyway, that. Just hold on a second, okay? One second, okay. ma'am. One second, please. Because I want to find the right case number for you, okay? Now, is that vehicle occupied or unoccupied? Uh, occupied. And you guys are standing by with it again? Yeah, we came back to see if they bumped my cell phone and the whole car was there. Okay. Okay, what's the address where you are right now? It is at 85th and 1st Avenue, Northwest, in the Fred Meyer parking lot. Okay. So this is the Greenwood Fred Meyer? Yeah. And the Sedona, he came to look for that same tier Sedona. It wasn't there, but now it's here. And we met with the officer. He was very helpful. Okay. But they uh, they erased the phone. They erased the iPhone, and so we could no longer track them. He was trying to track them, but they erased it, and then 
We went by to see if they left it there, and then they're here. So we're hoping that same fellow could come out. What kind of vehicle is the suspect's vehicle? The Kia Sedona? Yeah. What's the license plate? All the information I gave you before. Ma'am, I don't have any of the information at this time, okay? Yeah, I'm getting it to you now. It's A J U nine six five nine. Okay. And it's a Kia Sedona. What color? Gray. How many people are inside of it? Three. And they went into the uh, underground parking lot. Oh, and they're parked down there? I don't know. I'm not going in there. Okay. Did it go out the back uh, in entryway? Because there's a back entrance as well. I don't really know. I'm not, I'm not want to go in there. What's your last name? And then he, he left a couple of guys out of the car, too. Um, Westy, W-E-S-T-N-E-A-T. Your first name? Sarah, S-A-R-A-H. Right. And a phone number for you is the 206-790-4882. Any other numbers? No, all those ones I gave you before. And we're going to meet you in front? Yeah. Okay, we'll be out there as soon as we can, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye.